The only thing that keeps your engine mounted to your paramotor frame are only four rubber mounts. So please be sure that you check them regularly and change them as Vitorazzi recommends at every 100 hours because you don't want them to break while you're flying. Hello there, my name is Stefan and welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series. Today's video will be a short one and we will show you how to change the engine rubber mounts. For this operation we will need just a few simple tools. Big pliers with protection, 10mm wrench with ratchet, gloves and of course don't forget about your eye protection. The first thing to do would be to remove the engine from the frame but we already have done that in our very first video so please be sure that you check that one so you know how to do it. Now we need to remove the nuts that are holding the exhaust bracket in place. The other one. Now we can remove the hole for rubber mounts. They are so easy to remove that you can basically unscrew them by hand, so no need for force. Now remove the security strap. out with the old one, in with the new one. As you can see, we have two types of rubber mounts, one with longer thread, 25 millimeters, and one with shorter thread, just 15 millimeters. We will install a security strap on a long thread mount and one security strap on a short thread mount. These two rubber mounts with security strap installed would go on the upper side of the bracket. Short thread on the left side, on the cylinder side, and long thread on the carburetor side, exhaust side. The other two, short thread, cylinder side, long thread, exhaust side, where the exhaust bracket is. When tightening down the rubber mounts, just tighten them as tight as you can, only by hand and not by using any kind of tools. Rubber mounts are in place, let's put back the nuts that are holding the exhaust bracket. Grab the rubber mount with the big pliers so it, it won't get unscrewed from its place. Now the rubber mounts are in place so you can mount back the engine. Installing the engine onto your frame is basically the reverse operation as removing it. I want to remember you that every single spare part that we used and we will use on this engine, you can find them very easy and accessible online on our eShop. Now that we've changed every single rubber mount, we cover all aspects of the exhaust maintenance, we will start servicing the reduction drive, so next video will be about replacing your belt. Please stay with us and see how to do it properly. Ciao, see you in the next one.